Hi there. Um, today I want to tell you about what I did uh, past Halloween because it was uh, quite funny, at least for me. And well, I will tell you the story. Um, I was uh, it was a Halloween day. I don't know if it was uh, two days ago or or three. I don't remember, but it was Halloween, you know. Then uh, my wife was working and I was uh, here with my daughter and she was painting and stuff like that. And I was thinking um, of making something for my Twitter followers. Because uh, for some of you that you don't know, I have a, a Twitter account that, in fact, I have two. One for the professional things like making uh, video games and stuff like that. And, you know, music for video games and for short films and, and stuff. Another one that I, I used uh, from a long time ago, maybe, I don't know, five or six years, something like that. Um, what a, what a, what a way of wasting my life! Oh my god. Anyway, then um, on this account I made jokes, uh, dark jokes and stuff like that because I I, I like this. Um, I was thinking on 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 say some on, on, on make something for my followers, you know, something funny, something that we can share and we can play with. Then in the beginning I was uh, having that that idea of making something like Halloween song, you know, like uh, with a lot of sounds, you know, creepy sounds and and whoops, and and all these uh, ooh darking ooh, and all that fucking stuff. That but you know we live in Spain we have uh, really um, no one can scare us more their own own politicians than it have not sense to me. Then I was thinking okay. If you watch my videos, you know that I insist a lot on that when you perceive a note, you are not perceiving uh, that note alone, but it is always inside a context. And that context is given to you by the harmony. And and I say that many times, but I don't feel like I'd, I'd, I make the point. Then I, I said like, okay, then I will make a melody and I will choose a melody that any, anyone knows and I will reharmonize and then they will see the power of harmony. But I already did that on the, one of my first videos. In fact, I believe on that video I didn't have the camera yet, and and it was just like like the stuff and anything. But uh, I made it with the Unchained melody, the melody from Ghost, and I changed the harmony and I show it. That's a melody that anyone knows. But I want to go one step further, and I decide, okay, I will make something a kind of 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 game. I will choose a melody that anyone knows, a simple melody that anyone can know and I will tweak it using the harmony using the, ho the the orchestration in a way that no one will recognize it um, I spent three hours doing it and here you have the the result it was uh, quite funny now I will I will explain you later some things about the voice leading and everything because and anytime that I I make like string arrangements or, or stuff like that. I have some of my patrons, they ask me about it. And this time I'm going on advance and I'm making it before you ask it for it. Because no, it's because I travel in time and, you know, too many alcohol last night. Anyway, then uh, I have the idea and I like it. I, oh, yes, I, I will share it in my, in my Twitter because I have uh, 3,000 something followers, but maybe... 20 or 30 of them are just, you know, uh, paying attention. The other ones, they put silence on me, and it's a good option. Then the point is, when I make that experiment, it was uh, around one, it was uh, 120 something persons that they hear the track. And it was almost like, I don't know, maybe 20 or things like that, that uh, told me on, on the private message what they believe it is. But it was just five persons, the ones that uh, give me the right answer. And this quite interesting. Um, I will explain why. Well, when I had the idea, I was uh, looking just for the melody. Then... I want something related with the evilness because it's Halloween, you know. I, I want something, but not with the funny part of Halloween uh, with the kids asking for candies and stuff like that, but with the dark part, you know, like like the the serial killers and, and the ghosts and the monsters. And then it comes to my mind the the popular party melody. You know, if you are not from Spain... Um, Popular Party is the uh, the party that uh, rules my country, and it's kind of of, of mobbers. In fact, they are, they are a mob, organized mob, 
Um, they get money from everywhere. They they lie. They control the media. They control the the law. They they make you know a lot of nasty things, and they are destroying lives and they are destroying the future. They are destroying the education. They are destroying the the, the sanitary system. They are destroying everything. But they are the victims. You know, they are Christians. You know, it's it's always like like that way. I'm killing you, but uh, I'm saying you are against me and stuff like that. You already know, you know, your spouse and all that stuff. Anyway, then my point was that for me, these guys from this uh, popular party, they are the pure elvingness, and they belong to hell. And this is the place where they will end up with the time. I hope at least. Then I decide that will be the melody I will use. Then the popular party melody, it's a really happy. It's a really happy melody, it's really jumpy, and it is because they are happy because they are destroying our lives. Then it's something like... You know, they are quite happy. And the harmony is something like... Something like this. Then I took this uh, melody... Sorry, I I want to clean my hands now, but I don't have. Um, I was I was looking for uh, you know surgery gloves to play that melody, but I didn't have in, in my home. Anyway, then I was the last ones on with the last corpse. Then they didn't find it yet. My the, my my point was okay. Then it's short notes. Then I will make long notes. It's a simple harmony. Then I will make a more complicated harmony, and in this uh, simple orchestration, then I will do something, you know, more more complicated. But at the end of the day, the melody will be the same. Then, when some people was trying to to, and some of them you are, they are calling me on. In fact, I, I some of them they have my my number because they are friends for a long time, and they are talking me on in WhatsApp and Tony, I'm 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 listening to it and and I don't know what it is, and, and I was saying like, just sing it because if you sing it, you will know which is the melody, you know, because when you sing something, you know, um, you your 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 muscular memory and and your your perception is clear in fact i always try my my melodies to breathe i don't i don't mean that any any all the melodies should breathe you know but you are a human being you breathe and you will feel more um comfortable with melodies that you can sing and with the melodies that breathe i mean that have space in the middle and stuff like that but anyway this is uh, another concept then let's let's gonna have a listen to the final result and i will explain you step by step why it's so difficult to recognize the melody if it is there because you will see it is clearly there okay it's not trick on that i mean i put the melody on the top and you have it in the in the flute and you have it in the violin and the first time you hear it in the flute then you hear it double double with the violin but then i put another violin one one octave up then it's impossible not to hear it you know but you are hearing the melody because I say many times that when you perceive a note, you don't perceive the note by itself. You perceive it related with the harmony and you have like this kind of relationship. You don't know that you have it, but you have it. You are mixing things. You are mixing the harmony and the melody. Then when you hear the melody, but with another harmony, at least you are a, a music trained person or you have a, a really good ear, you can notice but when you sing it, it's different because the melody takes uh, like more steps in your conscience and it's easier to do. To do. Anyway, um, I talk too much. In fact, I make this channel to talk a lot because, you know, Twitter, nowadays put more characters, but it's not enough for me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big talker. Anyway, uh, let's go to hear that. That's the final version. <laughs>
Well, um, that was it. Um, let me check. Well, the point is, um, as you see, you have the same. It's slower than, but it's the same. But instead of because this way I play it slow, but you can recognize and. Um, what I made is I changed the melody. I made something like, okay, let me remember because it is something I, I do uh, really fast and I don't uh, remember too much. It was like, um, oh, sorry, it's, um, yes, it was like, okay, it's A minor, then C. Um, I will show you now because and this is like um, yeah that was great this one I like this one again and now this in the final version I forgot to make that and then Beautiful. Then, you know, the the original harmony was like uh, one for one for like, uh, sorry, like C, F, C, F, C, M, M major. Um, here I made an A minor, um, C major, E7 flat uh, 13, and I made a D minor half diminished uh, with, uh, with the nine, of course. It, 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 and, and then uh, A minor again, but this time with the nine. And I made a C major with the bass on, on G, I mean with the 5 on the bass. Then I made a F minor 6, that is a F minor Dorian. I, I talk about that in another video. If you don't know about modes, you can look for it and it's interesting. I made, you know, the, the A7 uh, thir uh, flat, flat 13, it's my, like my favorite chord on that. Um, and then the D minor and I forget to, to, because I make it normal and I forget to make the change. Because uh, you will see now, it, it is uh, like uh, two bars. Then I want to make it first normal. And then change the fifth. Because you have the third on the melody, then it doesn't affect you. Okay, if I go to technical, just make something like... Ah, 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 and then I, I will talk uh, about another thing that you can understand. And then you can pay attention again. Or you can go to see Rick and Morty or, or something like to like more than me talking. But if you don't like me talking, just ask yourself, why are you watching that? Then, um, whoa, that's the rat. Hey. <laughs> you know, it's my, it's my rat. I mean, he believes this is a dog, but it is a rat. And sometimes he, he, he listens to people and he likes to bark. Ah, someday, someday, I will make a rise with you. Anyway. Um, okay, I will show you now. Just to, the best way to, to, to learn something is go, go, go by parts, okay? As you know, Jack the Ripper knows that. It's a very old joke, but I, I, I need to, to, to do it because I don't filter. I talk without filtering. Anyway, I will take this for you. Just let me give, I, okay. I will take this. That is uh, like the um, okay. That's the full thing. Okay, I, I just want to check if you see it. Okay, you see it. Hmm, I should move it a little bit here, but here you are. Well, we don't pay attention to this line, okay, because it's uh, the first violin and the second violin. They are doing the same. You know, just octaves. Then I can put it here and. We don't need uh, that line because it's the same that this line, and it allows us to, to see that. Then you have the bass line here, okay? You have the the cello line, you have the viola, and then you have the second violin, and then you have the, the first violin octave up. And then what I will do now is I will allow you to hear one by one 
and then all together then you will be you will be able to hear it and and you will notice some things like i play a game with uh, making like it is a uh, quiet i mean it, nothing happens here are is tension here is uh, quiet again here is tension here is quiet here is tension it's, it's stuff like that um, I make some interesting things. In fact, I write it here for you. Let me, ah, here. <laughs> because, you know, you ask me sometimes about that. Then I will explain here. It's just like um, the movement. Here you can see this is parallel motion because obviously it is, you know, first violin, second violin, they are doing the same. But here you have that uh, when this voice goes down, but this voice goes up and this voice goes down and then this voice goes up. Then here we have like contrary motion, uh, parallel motions between some voices and contrary motion between others. Okay, that's interesting. And I, I put here uh, two against one. That means that you have one note here against two notes on the cello. I mean, one note on the viola against two notes on the cello. And here you have, you know, one note on the cello against two notes on the viola. This kind of, of um, uh, not games, but you know, this kind of, 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 of things of, of playing with, with the voices and now you stay and then I move and then I stay and you move and blah, blah, blah. It's like a dance, you know, as uh, dancing, dancing, anyway. Um, here I brought the, um, sorry, here I brought the, the harmony, as I told you, okay? And uh, well, this is technical stuff. Uh, if you are, if you are one of my patrons and you are interested on on, on this uh, particular thing, uh, I will explain to you. We can make a Skype or something, and no problem. Uh, sometimes I have time, some others not. Anyway, normally now I have uh, I have some time because I I concentrate my no musical work i concentrated on the on the morning from seven to three then i have the rest of the day to work in fact and now i'm i'm finishing you know I, we are still working on the bell because we have some problems with the ai, I, AI of the some of, of of the cat of the bad guy and i'm working with uh the gloomzy uh again it's a it's a zombie game with the defense of the tower style and i make a video for patreon yes explaining the, the adaptive music system then anyway let's go here but i will do i will let you hear just the the bass okay this is the bass line just the bass line just the fucking bass line anyway let's gonna hear it this uh, that's the bass line because if I'm screaming to something, I want you to see what it is. And this is the best line. sounds like a fart from hell great i like fart from hell then this is the cello line i'm i'm now you are hitting one by one okay but then i will stack them for you and you will feel happy because it's like oh i'm hearing things that i was not able to hear i'm learning something here on the internet on youtube with that crazy guy that i was thinking that he just uh is useful for making crap jokes and I can okay, make crap jokes but I am a musician so you know I was a musician before I start making crap jokes then okay this is the, the cello line I like that line. Um, what well, that now? That viola. 
You know, I I I know. Um, I like the lines that can be can be can be sing. You know that that you can sing the lines. That uh, um, for me it's really important. Uh, it gives some something that you don't have in another way. Then okay, and 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 you know the okay the violin is uh, is that fucking melody. Uh, you know. You know. Well, one one little tip I see now, um, just for for musicians. Okay, um, now it it is activated because I was doing uh, other thing. My mobile is blah, blah, blah. Um, but normally when I when I record this, I have the snap off. Why? Because you see that it's these little imperfections that is not exactly in this. F it is like ah, oh, it it does. It's not perfect. That 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 is when when. Like when you're playing and it's not perfect, then I want this kind of feeling in a lot of, uh, especially on strings, uh, regardless that they are making like some kind of obstinate or something. I like that, that effect. I, I, it gives a lot of uh, humanity for me. And you know, um, another thing I'm not showing to you, but I will, I will fix it now. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Forgive me. Is that this is the the um, modulation wheel? This is like kind of the expression of of not exactly the volume la, but like the intention of the playing then you hear if you uh, okay let's hear that now for example it goes up and then uh maybe you don't notice when it's just one instrument but when, when they are together it's, it's crazy anyway i will uh put now the melody with the bass because you, this is the, the what a non trained person perceives. I mean, the extremes, and you can hear the effect of the new harmony with the with the melody. And I will remove that because it's was a lot of space. What happens here? Hmm. Here, great. Okay, done. Let's go and listen. Whoops, sorry. I choose the low brass. Mm, that was not the bass. I will talk to you about the brass now because I I, I have some funny things here. <laughs> I made um, crazy stuff with that, and it was j just three hours, you know. Then it was like, and I will tell you now how how I did it, because it's something useful for you if you make music. It's really useful. Um, well, that's the just the bass line, and you know the bottom on the top. quite low it's uh, a D yeah really low D anyway I like it now let's gonna build up let's gonna hear the bass again and now I will start to add instruments my friends
great. Let's gonna add the cello here. Tiruri ruri. Oh, these two guys are in the bottom frequencies. It's something really interesting here. I don't know if you notice. Um, well, here you have parallel uh, motion, as we said, but uh, here you have contrary motion, and this note keeps meanwhile this note goes down, and this is what we call oblique motion. Oblique motion. It's when one voice stays and the other one moves, no matter the, the direction. You know. And it feels interesting because when you have this note, it's harmonized with the E, and then you have this note harmonized with the D, it changes. Um, and it doesn't allow me to play, but anyway, it changes. And uh, you know, here it's uh, the major third, and here it's, it's uh, the five, but it's altered five, you know, it's like the the flat five, let's say. Then it changes, it's the same note, but change how, how notice how the, the, the flavor, the, the, the mood, the, the taste, that I don't know what how to, to say it, but you know the, how it changes. It's like, now, you notice? It, it's, it's different, you know, that, that, that's one of the, okay, forget about it, I'm just rambling. <sighs> Tony. You're always rumbling in the internet. Now, okay, I add the viola here. And you have the same game, you know, here uh, it is uh, the oblique motion, but here the viola goes up and the, and the, and the bass go down. And this stays and it's like the three kind of movements there. Then it sounds quite amazing. And here it happens the same. I mean, it goes down, it goes up and it stays. It's oblique motion with contrary motion, and who have more motions? Well, uh, all together now. All together. Sorry. That's beautiful. Then um, let's gonna uh, come here now because I want to show you okay, the bass, the cello, and the viola. The bass, the cello. Okay, here we have the bass, the cello, and the viola. That is uh, what you hear now. And I have it duplicated because uh, these ones they they sound in uh, in one in one channel and the other ones sound in the other channel. And they are not exactly the same instrument. I mean, they are violas, a violin, but it's different sounds. Then it makes this this stereo effect that I, I like. Um, to be honest with you, uh, it's it, I, I had one problem with that track on on this. Uh, I will show you now th that. With that, I had uh, one problem. This is uh, Budwins. Um, but uh, the problem I had was. You know, I like to write my 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 things. I like to write in parts, um, and I will always insist that you don't you don't, please don't use pads. I mean, if you want to, to just to to make sketches and stuff like that, you can use a pad. But when you're writing the final thing, you see, I'm writing the violin, the second violin, the viola, the cello, and the bass. And it will give a more uh, realistic flavor, and you can um, make the the painting, you know, of, of the the painting, is painting or, or panorama. I don't remember the, any. I, I believe it's painting. The painting of the voices and everything. But the problem I have here, it's my computer, and and this is because you are not uh, subscribing to my Patreon because I just uh, have uh, ten Patreons now. 
but I need to buy RAM. And I'm seriously, I need to buy RAM because I just have uh, 16 uh, gigabytes of RAM, but with this track, I uh, I was running out of, of, of it. In fact, if you, if you notice, these tracks are freeze. Um, these tracks here, that means that it's freeze. Because uh, the computer was uh, asking like, uh, you know, help and stuff like that and cutting all the time and and now if i remove the freezing and i'm i'm recording video i'm i'm you know putting all this the the, the request for sure and uh, but the problem was at with the boot wins here i want to make them like uh, side by side i mean i want the bassoons i want the clarinets and i want all the stuff but i tried it and and it totally crashes because with that if i unfreeze i'm consuming like i believe it's 14 gigabytes of RAM just with the instrument plus the process of it in real time and that. Then I need to up upgrade my computer to at least 64 gigabytes of RAM, but on this moment I just can upgrade to uh, 32. But I will do it for sure probably next month. And I will do it with the money that my patrons are giving me just to make this kind of things that I'm giving to you for free. Then you can be, you know, like nice and, and help me with that. Because, um, you know, I, I want to make that like this. But anyway, I I, I, pff, I made this fucking Budwins with, without the... Uh, uh, I do it as you don't have to do it, okay? In just one track. But anyway, it sounds like that. <laughs> I will put together with the strings and you will um, hear it clearly. <laughs> Then um, and here in the in the final in the final part you have like that. <laughs> then uh, what you have here um, basically I will uh, unfreeze the tracks, but I can't play it without. Uh, crushing it then I will unfreeze once and freeze the other ones uh, let's gonna wait that it freezes problem summary I, I know one one girl that told me um, she's a composer and she told me I will have enough with 8 or 16 ramps and I don't think so not uh, if you make the things in the right way you don't have enough then uh okay yes I I you know I put the choir that maybe you you hear it I will and you have this low strings It's a really funny three hours, but I, I, I want one thing I like a lot um, because you know I was like in a funny mood, and, and in fact, you know I hate that that that, that fucking people, and I want them that to die. But um, I, I I was uh, making um, really funny ex exercise, and I was uh, having a lot, lot of fun. Then I decided to make thing, this thing with the trombones. Let's just hear it because it's it's quite funny. I, I was laughing a lot. Listen to it because when when you hear everything together now i will put to you and then you will be able to hear it but now maybe you are noticing but not noticing this is the thing now and now now go bending and now it's very low
Then when you hit it together. Okay, I will freeze that now, and I will unfreeze the the last ones. Um, that's quite good because the I I want to make the drive. In fact, I make a video. I will put it at the end, but you have it in my YouTube. But now that you are watching this, maybe it's better if I put it here. Um, but uh, what happens here now? Um, these guys, these guys. Oh, I I didn't unfreeze it. Sorry. Now, okay, these guys are. You see the uh, the um, that sorry, you see that thing, you see, it's like, listen, um. <laughs> the drive you know in the video i made uh on on the moment first in in, in that moment you are like uh watching the result of, of the people of the government this, this, this guy, you know, the, the, the party. and it's people you know, all you know like you know protest and stuff like that and, and the news are talking that it's not people protesting and everything but you don't have to hear the melody yet then when the melody starts, I make appear the headquarters of that guys, you know, the headquarters of the Lapar. And the people in the news start talking about the police and what is not happening with that is what they're talking. Um, but it's still like a reflection of the bad maneuvers these, these nasty guys are doing. Okay. Then at that moment when the that starts, and then you see the Alnar here, and it's like we have all the names, the bad ones, the first class, the first class, and uh, then you have Mariano Macorri, the actual person, the Alnar is the former one, and he's talking and saying something, and all that. Then for me, it was like three levels. You know, like the first level is like more uh, like uh, dramatic mood and stuff like that. And it's the people here is uh, when the melody appears, it appears the, you know, the headquarters of that guys. And then they appear the like the leaders of, of it then. Because it's like, uh, Adnar is like a leader in the shadow, you know, and, and it's, uh, you know, the, the extreme right really is really happy with him. But uh, okay, I don't want to enter politics, but you can feel like I'm a little bit on the left, but I'm not a little bit on the left. I'm very, 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 very on the left. And you know, it's not uh, something that, that I, it, it, it doesn't come from my, from my grandparents or stuff like that, like, like the right, like the right guys, you know, it's, uh, I have the, well, you know, I like to read. And I like to know his story and I like to empathize with other people. And then uh, I don't like the equidistance. And when someone is the when someone is the bad guy, you know, it's very easy to say, oh, no, he's not the bad guy. He's not a good guy. Everything's great. And I just a crap, man. Just this is a crap for stupid people, you know. I know when someone is, is, is bad and someone is not, and I can tell you these guys are not. But okay, that was Halloween, and I was just making a game with my followers. Then the ones that uh, catch the melody, it was very interesting, but because every of them were people like were singing the song. And the people uh, that uh, wasn't, mm, you know, they didn't know which melody is, they weren't singing it. With one exception that uh, was singing but was not um, 
catching it, but I believe she was singing over the melody. Then I mean over the harmony. Then it's it's difficult. But if you learn the melody and you 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 sing it, you instantly recognize. Then well, I did that. That was the video today. I hope you enjoy, and I will just uh, now because when when the when everything uh, end up. Um, I, I, I was about to give the answer, but I was just to write, uh, okay, it was the, you know, the popular party melody, but it was too, too cold, you know. Then I said, okay, I have the melody, then let's go and I look for some images and, and put them together and make a, a video. And well, here, here is for you, and I hope you enjoy that video. See you next time.